Dinosaurs, an intro for kids from Sanger Academy. Please help us make more of these videos by supporting us. I'm going to explain a few basics about dinosaurs. The first dinosaur lived long, long ago, long before human beings, long before the first furry mammals, and before even the first feathered birds. Let's go even farther back. The Earth formed about four and a half billion years ago. That's longer than you can imagine. In fact, for most of Earth's history, life was very simple, just single cells. The first complex animals, with many cells, didn't appear until 600 million years ago. The long history of Earth is divided into eras. And the time of the dinosaurs was the, here read, Mesozoic era, which lasted from about 252 until 66 million years ago. Humans didn't get started until the end of the green Cenozoic era. The era of dinosaurs, the Mesozoic era, was divided into three periods. The Triassic period, from about 252 until 200 million years ago. The Jurassic period, from about 200 until 145 million years ago. And finally, the Cretaceous period, from about 145 until 66 million years ago. And after that, they all died out. It was a giant extinction. So, how do we know about dinosaurs? By digging up what is left of their bones, horns, skin, footprints, etc., called fossils. Someone who digs up and studies fossils is called a paleontologist. So, what was a dinosaur? The word dinosaur comes from Greek words meaning terrible lizard. Why terrible? because some dinosaurs were really, really big. Yeah, this little guy is the human. But some dinosaurs were smaller than human beings. Were they the biggest animals ever? Yes and no. Yes, they were the biggest land animals. But no, the blue whale is bigger than any dinosaur ever was. Dinosaurs were reptiles in the same class of animal as snakes, lizards, and turtles. Like other reptiles, they laid eggs. And many had scales. Some dinosaurs were herbivores, which means they ate only plants. Here are some herbivores you probably know. The herbivore Triceratops had two horns and a horn-like nose. Stegosaurus had plates along its back and spikes in its tail. Ankylosaurus had bony spiked armor on its back and a club tail. Myasaura was a duck-billed dinosaur or hadrosaur. The very biggest dinosaurs are called sauropods like the Brontosaurus and the Brachiosaurus, truly enormous. But the longest and heaviest dinosaur found so far seems to be the Argentinosaurus. Other dinosaurs were carnivores, which means they ate only animals. Here are some carnivores you probably know. The famous carnivorous dinosaurs are called theropods. The movie Jurassic Park introduced the world to a made-up theropod, the Velociraptor. But actual Velociraptors were smaller and had feathers. They were still dangerous. Some other big theropods include Allosaurus and one that everybody knows Tyrannosaurus rex. 
Some people think T. rex was the heaviest theropod, but maybe not. Other giants were the Carcharodontosaurus, try saying that three times fast, and the truly frightening Spinosaurus. We've been talking about herbivores, plant eaters, and carnivores, meat eaters. But some animals eat both plants and meat. They're called omnivores. Here's another omnivore. Yep, human beings. Some reptiles that lived in the age of dinosaurs weren't dinosaurs, like the flying pteranodons. And sea creatures, such as the ichthyosaurs, the plesiosaurs, and the mosasaurs, which were truly monstrous. All of these animals died out, went extinct, 66 million years ago. Why? Paleontologists have found reasons to support one idea, or theory. They were killed when a giant meteorite crashed into the earth, sending up clouds of dust into the atmosphere, making food scarce for dinosaurs. But did you know that some dinosaurs had feathers, such as oviraptors? Some feathered dinosaurs over millions of years changed into the first bird, the Archaeopteryx. So, the little Tweety bird outside your window is a distant relative of T. rex. The End Why not explore some other Sanger Academy videos? And if you want more of these free educational videos, please be sure to support us.